significance to you in your first season in this setting the franchise? Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> the most important thing was getting a win, and we got a win. Uh, but, you know, being a fan of Shady's growing up and seeing a spectacular things he was able to do with the ball in his hand and, you know, to be able to have my name match with him it definitely means a lot. But got to give credit to the guys up front. It made my job a lot easier so far this year. Another, Hopefully, continue. Another thing, sometimes less people know about the recognition coming up. Did you know what did he tell you before, or did you know whenever you uh, said it? I knew coming into the game, uh, but I didn't know when I said it. Um, but I knew, like, I was aware like, it was, I could do it this game. It seemed like you were pretty calm about they were chanting MVP and you were kind of calm in the crowd as you were in the office. Was that like a key drive, or what was kind of that? Uh, I mean, we got to do a better job in that drive of putting the game away, not even putting our defense in that situation, uh, and that's all of us. Um, but yeah, the, you know, I, I, I'm always appreciative of the love and support of the fans. But in that moment, just trying to stay locked in and um, trying to get the job done. But we didn't do that, and uh, you know, our defense came out. Special teams first. Um, Show up in the big punt, but a big punt and. Put us in position where we're going to win the game. So. I'm sorry. Yeah. Survivor in advance for nine in a row. Just talk about the battle you guys had, 49th straight win, and, and maintaining pace with Detroit. Uh, I mean, the focus is not maintaining pace with Detroit. Um, it's coming out here, winning football games, and uh, however way we got to do it. We knew it was going to be a 60 minute fight. Uh, their record really doesn't reflect you know, how this team has been playing. They've been playing great uh, as of late. Uh, and some tough games. And then you know, we went to get a win, and we came out with a win. What did you think of the offensive performance short. overall? Huh? What did you think of the offensive performance overall? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, we got to win. Um, did we leave some plays out there for sure? Uh, but that's the beauty of football. We'll go back, watch the film, and learn from it, and get ready for the Steelers. I believe Shady posted a message on social media and he broke his record a video message. Have, have you heard from him since since breaking the record? At, no, no, I haven't really got my phone yet. What, what do you think is kind of like the issue, like the slow starts, you know, the passing offense, what's kind of going on? With I wouldn't say it's an issue. Um, you know I mean? Would we like to start off faster? Yeah, but I think it would be a, you know, a different conversation if we were a team that started off fast and didn't finish strong. Uh, I think we'll all be having a different conversation here. So at the end of the day, the most important thing is winning football games. And are we going to continue to work on that and try and get better? Yes. I think you guys got to understand, too, that you know, not in an arrogant way. Uh, we are the Philadelphia Eagles, and you know, especially on the offside of the ball. We have a lot of great talent. And you know, defense has come and do a lot of different stuff to make sure that we don't take over the game. Um, and you know, sometimes it's, it's like a fight. It's like a match. You can't go out there and try to throw haymakers in the first round. You got to take what they give you, throw your jabs, set stuff up. And that's what we've been doing so far. And we've been leaning on teams and grinding teams out and getting wins. You said Wednesday that you, that you studied the history of the Eagles running backs. Uh, when you saw what the record was, did you think you could break it this year? Was that a goal you had? Always. Uh, you, you know, I don't – it wasn't like something like um, – I saw a football life on Emmett the other day, and you know, he used to write goals down. Because <clears throat> you say it's a dream until you write it down and it becomes a goal. Uh, I never, like, wrote – the goal down to break it, but you're always aware of it, and that's how I train, and um, that's how I operate in the offseason and camp. Because um, I want to be great. Um, that's something that I want to do, and something that I believe I can do. And uh, you know, especially with the the men and women in our facility, uh, they make it a lot easier for me. Are you are you also aware you broke one of Wilbur Montgomery's records for most 100 yard games? Um, yes, I am. I'm aware. And of that. how does that make you feel? It feels great. Uh, you know. It's all good. The records are great. Put a smile on your face. Um, but season's far from over, and there's a lot of other things that we would love to accomplish. So, um, you know, go home, smile, probably give Anna, Jada, and SJ a kiss, and watch film and get ready for Steelers. How much is Dickerson's record in your in your sight, I guess? Uh, yeah, I saw him say something to me and Derek about go get it. Um, I, I think, I think uh, obviously that would be a, extremely cool to do, but. At the end of the day, if it happens, it happens, and not with the mindset of, you know, I'm, I'm scared to go try to do it. Um, wherever it takes to win football games, and if that's in the way of it, then that's in the way of it. And, and if it's not, then it doesn't matter to me. I want to win football games, and uh, I want to do something special for the city, and, and I think we all know what that is. You've ta you talked earlier this week about how you've wanted to leave a legacy everywhere you've been. I guess, what do you want that legacy to be? Um, yeah, I want to be great. Uh, you know, it's kind of like, for me, Personally, I feel like I've done that. I did that in high school. Um, I did that at Penn State. Uh, you know, I'm always going to have a sour taste in my mouth because I don't think I was able to do that in New York, to be honest, or the way that I would like to. Um, 
So I'm thankful for the new start that I have here. And with that being said, it's you know, accomplish the things like I did today. Um, put my names up there and mention with the greats. And the beauty of it, there's been a lot of great running backs to come out of Philadelphia. So um, just continue to trust the process, go back to the work, and stay consistent with it. And um, when it's all said and done, you look back and the rest speaks for itself. Now that you've this record, what's the next goal? Steelers, win the game. Um, go on Monday, watch film, see what I can improve on. Uh, what can I do better to set up the runs? Um, you know, we had a good day on the, on the, on the ground, a sneaky day. Uh, you know, wasn't sexy, I guess I would say, but got the job done. Um, and then going against the Steelers, who I think got a win, and a really good defense and a run defense with you know, one of the best defensive players over there. So our, 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 our focus and mindset shifts to that right away after we watch film. <coughs> I wouldn't say either single season or um, single game records are important to me. Uh, it's all part of the process. If I'm able to stay consistent, like you say, and do what I'm able to do, I'm very aware that God's blessed me um, with a tremendous talent and you know put me in a great situation here with the Philadelphia Eagles. And that was the reason why I wanted to come here to, uh, to be able to play um, behind those guys and be able to play with this organization to be able to do stuff like that. So the consistency part is not focusing on a single game or single season records. The consistency part is focused on how great can I be every single day. Um, kind of similar to the mom, the mama mentality. Um, try and be the best version of myself every single day. And um, it's a challenging thing to do. Uh, you know, it's easy to get caught up in you know, what you guys are saying or what people are saying about me. But at the same time, the reason why I'm at this point and we're having this conversation is because I haven't been able to do that. What's your, what's your mindset when okay, you guys go down 16, 14, and then the drive starts with you 11 and I think 14? Or the first, is it like, all right, let's go. I want the ball right now. I mean, what, what is Yeah, of course I want the ball. Um, we all want the ball. Uh, you know, me, AJ, Smitty, Jalen. Um, we all have talented. We have an extremely talented group here, um, and a lot of guys that have that, that that similar mindset that we all can take over a game. But yeah, you know, just having the trust in the guys up front and trusting in Kellen, and um, knowing that every single time that I touch the, it's a different feel. Like when you every single time you touch the ball, you know that it's one play away or one block away or one little thing away that I can go and rip it 70 yards. Um, so just having that mindset of, you know, not being afraid of the moment and leaning on them and be able to open things up and trying to get a win. Do you, you worry, do you worry at all that you guys are relying too much on the run? No, um, I, I don't I don't think so. I, I know people are, you know, the theme of this week are probably is going to get caught up in our passing game numbers and stuff like that, but in reality, the main thing is winning football games. And however we got to do it, that's how we got to do it. And whether we're running the ball, I mean, obviously we've shown that we can do that, but you know, this team was very successful before I came here too. And Jalen Hurts was an MVP candidate before I came here too. So, and A.J. Brown is A.J. Brown. And the list goes on and on and on. So uh, we're good at running the football. we got to stop it. And when it's time that we need to pass the ball, or sometimes it's going to be a game where we need to pass the ball, we're more than willing and capable of making it happen, too. Did you say anything to the offensive line when you broke the record? Uh, no. Uh, a lot of the guys came up to me after the game. I didn't know that. I, like, I knew I was able to break the record, but I don't know exactly when I, I did it. Um, but, yeah, a lot of the guys came up to me and you know, congratulated, congratulated me. And uh, that's, the, that's the beauty of it. That's what really matters. Um, it's cool to have your name there, but uh, to do it with those guys means, means uh, so much more. Do you know that you're a step away from breaking a long run every time you're out there or you have to wait for the take? Uh, no, I believe that. Um, you know, that that's kind of been my MO since college. Uh, every single time I touch the ball that I know I can uh, break away and score a touchdown. Um, but at the same time, I think I've learned and grow as a player that I'm not out there forcing it. Um, I'm letting it come to me, uh, staying within the details of the play and trusting the O-line and, um, you know, making sure I get my shoulders squared. And, Put myself in the best position to let my vision take over, um, and it's been working so far. So I got to continue to do that and uh, not force anything. You see CJ go down twice, come back in the yeah. game. What does this toughness mean to this defense? Oh, uh, uh, greatness, man. You know, uh, and I don't like nobody going down because uh, I know what type of game he plays. So thankfully he was healthy, man, to come back in. I always worry about their safety more than anything. So bump all the toughness. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he just healthy. He's feeling good. He was able to come back out there. Were you, Were you battling you guys something too? Huh? Were you battling something too? Uh, no, 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 no. Almost like, yeah, one time, Thielen hit me in the kneecap. Dove at my.
But he, he didn't try to, you know what I'm saying? He, right when he did, he oh, snap, I'm sorry, bro. But uh, yeah, that was it, but I was good, though. I was, I was battling the, uh, the oxygen machine. That's what I needed. Oh. I was tired. How do you think Tristan filled in? Huh? How do you think Tristan filled in? Great, man, great, man. He uh, did his job, man. Came in and played fast, played physical. Uh, you know, we trust everybody in this room, man. You know, when I went down, Isaiah uh, went stepped up, you know? So he go down, but Tristan, he stepped up. So uh, that's a great thing about our group, man. We got a strong group. That's got a lot of talent in that room, man. So we got guys that are very versatile that can switch positions and play anywhere. So uh, that's a good thing about our group, man. That's what makes us special. When, when Nick decides, <laughs> yeah, when Nick decides to punt, there, what does that say to you? So oh, that, yeah. Trusting your defense. Oh yeah, we told him that's what we did. We about we about playing ball, you know. We, we're in it, you know. So uh, you know, uh, we've been playing great defense, man. We should have played a lot more better, no cleaner ball, but you know, uh, but at the end of the day, no, we we do want that pressure on the defense. You know? So uh, I know the offense, they do a great job at doing what they do, but uh, we want to like the end game. Uh, I know coach like the end of the game is in the offensive hand, but he believed that we could do it as well. What do you think is the last pass breakup? Say again? Sorry. Last pass breakup? Oh, yeah, man, just shoot. Uh, you know, Bryce was making a play. He's trying to scramble and stand the play. He's doing a great job at that. I just knew one thing about Thielen, man, playing him so long in uh, Minnesota that he's great at scramble drills. It's fine to keep working towards the quarterback. So I came from all the way to the other side. I went all the way to the other side. I was gassed, and I was just like, hey. He throw this ball off the back of this plate over here. So thankfully I did because woo, one play where he spot scored that post ball, that was almost OD. Because I was gassed. What? I was so gassed. He ran a good route. I was trying to guess. Guess wrong. But then the Lord blessed me and make another chance, make another play. You know as well as anyone about having a short memory in this league. Easily. Yeah, they yeah. got you maybe a few times early on. How were you able to re rebound? Uh they already gave me well, they got me early. They got me what, two catches early. But uh other than that, yeah, I was locked in, you know. Drive. I think I made a couple of plays, a lot of plays. Uh, yeah, so, it, you know, that's football, man. Uh, everybody in the NFL, everybody going to make plays, you know, but uh, it's about who's going to make the plays the most and who's going to be the toughest the longest. And uh, and I was the toughest the longest. All that time against Steelers, does that help in the moment? On the uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been playing, like I said, we've been at it for a long, long time, man. Definitely at both our peaks. And, you know, I think he year 12 just as me. So he knows me very well. I know him very well. So uh, I just try to just, you know, use his strengths. And just like uh, just take away his strengths. And uh, I did that today with uh, with that last drive for sure, just because I know what his ability is to stand plays. Because he got good sure hands, so I just couldn't let him catch. It. To see CJ come back, it looked like it was a serious injury, and yeah. then he's back on the field. Did that give a boost to the whole defense? Uh, it gave a boost. To, it gave us the boost to the defense that let us know that he's okay. You know what I'm saying? With him being out there is a break too as well. But I'm always about his safety first, man. Because uh, this game is very physical, man. I don't want to see nobody go down or anybody who play on any team. So to see guys that go down and come back in, I'm just thankful that they'll be able to come back and return to the game. So I'm just blessed the fact that uh, he's healthy, uh, came out clean, came out good, and helped us contribute to this win. Um, great team win. Uh, that's a physical team. Um, if everybody want to know, that's one of those, that was one of those games where you can't underestimate those type of teams. Uh, Bryce is a great quarterback, great team. Uh, Adams out there competing uh, from Isaiah Leggett. Defense played great on that side. Uh, it's all about, about uh, details and fundamentals. So. Just going out there and finishing the game. I know y'all remember week, was it week two, three? Those type of games. Cousins broke, broke down and won the game. Uh, we just had to lock in and win the game. That's how I feel. Do you, think, do you think you did take them lightly? Um, no, we just, it's a good team. I mean, NFL too. They understand what it takes to come in here and win. When, when, pretty, playing pretty good on a nice little hot streak. So we got to understand how to just. Be us and do what we do to win the game. How you feeling physically? Well, six years in. I feel great. I'm ready to keep it going. What happened when you, at the end there, looked like you're back? Man, uh, the pain of a winner, I guess. I, I'm good. I'll just get through it. See it, see it on Monday. Was, was Joe trying to take you off the field? I'm not coming off the field. You got to kill me. Gotta kill me. Was that? Yeah, that was he, you're, trying take, you're trying to take me out. You're trying to take me out. But it's like I said, when you, were, when you want to win and play hard for your guys, I think. Just going out there and just showing them that I still got it in me. Regardless of how I'm feeling, it just it feeds off everybody else. Everybody else keeps trying to play. In a game like this without Reed already, did you kind of feel like you really had to get back out there? Um, uh, Tristan does a good job. I understand what was activated this week. We was all prepared. It's just playing for each other and understanding that we're there. Uh, with him being down, it just showed that we used to be a dominant force, you know? And we're definitely missing him right now. We definitely can't wait for him to get back. But right now, we got to take our lumps with injuries and continue to play. The offense was in a situation there. Uh, they could have kicked a field goal. They decided to punt. One score game. Uh, put, your, put, put, your hands in the best, put your hands in the best defense. Um, that's what Nick always. You guys hit the sound bite. 
Just put your, put the trust in us. Uh, don't matter what situation in the game, we learn from week two all the way to now. Just continue to play football and understand who we are and, and uphold the identity. What last drive? What was the approach on that last drive? <laughs> in front of you, and just you know, he's a great quarterback. Well, improviser, he know how to extend the play. Just understanding, got plaster and stand your guy. And don't give him no open looks. And he's pretty. He's fine on the day on his on the scrambles, but last drive, hold your breath and play ball. What did you see on that on that deep pass? Like it, like points inside the five. All right, all right. To be honest with you, I mid judge the ball. If I'd have jumped, I'd pick it. But shots to the ref. <laughs> Shout out to the ref. How much, how much relief was in that moment? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's football, bro. Things happen. Line to play next fucking play. What do you, what do you think on Slade? I think they. I think him being the vet he is, that's what you expect. And I'm just ready for him to catch his first pick of the season. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just ready for my dog to catch his first pick of the season. Uh, I'm behind him. I want to do what he got to do to do it. Keep playing how he's playing, and I'm behind him 110%. The hit early in the game for you, did that kind of start off Hello. the way you wanted to? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Next. So, I mean, you said shout out to the ref there. Like, you know, I truthfully thought he caught the ball. Yeah. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. And then when he came with an incomplete ball, hit the ground, I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm get a little another down. <laughs> but, I mean, I can't tell you what if he catch the ball. He dropped it, uh, wide the ground, on to the next week. That's a tough team, tough win, and let's continue to play. Was the, the I know you're in the, in the evaluated for a concussion on the first half, this pulled with the second injury. Did you pour in your back a little bit? My hurt, bro. <laughs> I got hit in my <laughs> on my teammate hit me in my excuse my language, but that shit hurt. I ain't gonna say no names, but me I'm gonna talk tomorrow. We gotta talk this a lot. But nah, uh, I got friendly fire in the pile. I mean, Run to the ball. That's what that's what it expects to happen. But other than that, we're good. Um, so take care of the body. See you on Monday. I really there's nothing to look forward to. It's a, a lot of it. Those guys make touchdowns and first downs. So I'm living through them. So it, yeah, yeah, it makes me happy. Do you guys kind of view them as like not just a running back award, but an offensive award or a record? <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean it's it's a combination of both. Uh, when you got a, a dude that can do. Uh, Backwards, uh, flip, uh, splits, and jump over dudes. And, you know that helps. How do you walk away from this game? Man? What's, what's the feeling? Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to uh, be in the negative. Like I said, it's hard to win in the National Football League. You know, I've been a part of, you know, at least last season. You know, towards the end of the year, we had some time to go, but it wasn't it wasn't going well for us. So we'll take it. You know, obviously, a stout Steelers team coming in. Uh, you know, I, mean, you know, they, I think one of the best pass rushers in the game, T.J. Watt. Nate Herbert coming in, uh, or Nick Herbert, I should say. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it'll, be, it'll be a tough match. When you say you feel you don't yeah, feel great on, after after a win, I just I just felt like we did we didn't play complimentary ball, and we kept putting out defense. The offense kept putting the defense in shitty situations, and then making them look bad. You know, giving them short fields. It's just like bad ball. Now, now, now there is a bright spot. Run game was still there, still efficient. Um, Jalen scrambling was was nice, especially when we went. You know, it wasn't as firm as we as used to. You know, so that was a, a, a good part to take away. But at the same time, we got a question about you know, how's the pass game and why is it why is it not the same? And it's because we're look, we're a little leaky right now. And we we'll watch the film and we'll go back to it tomorrow and we'll get our corrections. And see why the communication was the way it was. How do you correct those things? It's got to be, I mean, you got to put your pride aside and, and take coaching. And that is a form of accountability for the Eagles and something that we harp on a lot. So that's what we have to do. You just have to you put your pride aside, you got to admit your mistake, and then uh, learn from it. You'll repeat it. You mentioned, learn from others' mistakes. You mentioned putting the defense in a tough spot, but to see them pull it out the end there, I'm like very appreciative of that. Very appreciative. Oh, seriously. Very appreciative. But, same time, we were ready to go back out there on the two-minute drive, and we had three timeouts left. So we were confident in ourselves to go down the field, especially with three timeouts, but also very confident in our defense to get that, that, that stop. Got banged up a couple of times. How, how much of a boost is that for the whole defense? Yeah, it's obviously nice to have him in there, a guy that, that's played a lot of snaps this year, and um, some consistency, consistency there. 
And then, but but if a guy goes down in this defense, it's next man up mentality, and uh, we don't expect a dip if a guy goes down. Uh, Bryce Young was able to kind of create stuff off schedule. Uh, how, how trying was that in this game? Yeah, that's two weeks in a, in a row with scrambling quarterbacks, just plastering to our guys when it, playing that second play kind of after he gets out of the pocket, and um, I think we got to do a better job of that. Uh, I don't know if you saw how far Slay had a cover on that that last PBU. Did you get a good look at it? Uh, yeah, I was on the other side of the field as him. I'm like, what is he doing all the way over there? <laughs> um, again, that's just plastering to a guy. He's finding open open guys that might be open and um, trying to make a play. What did you think of the decision that kind of put the, the game on you guys when you punted from Nick? Like, yeah, I, I like it. I like it because we got a good, great punter, a great punt team. Um, Avante Maddox down in it in, inside the two or whatever it was, and then we just got to get off the field in that situation. We should have been off the field in the, one of those first three plays. Were you kind of proud to see Avante come through in that moment? He kind of had a, a rougher year. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for all, uh, everyone that gets an opportunity and that takes advantage of it. I mean, need to be the starter and, you know, need to make plays, need to block well. Just everything I was doing before, but, you know, obviously got there more than that. You take us through your first touchdown? Yeah, ran a, a little kind of a whip route, um, and they were in the perfect coverage. And, Parted like the Red Sea, it was wide open. I, mean, I looked like you were pretty jacked up after that. Yeah, pretty fired up, to say the least. Yeah. How do you think you played in general? I think I played pretty good. Um, I haven't watched the film, but you know, there's definitely some blocks and stuff that I want back. But overall, you know, I think I played pretty good. Um, we'll get in and watch it and, and get better from it tomorrow. In general, the offense like the slow starts has been a game. Uh, any, any answers coming? No, I mean, like I said, we haven't watched the tape yet, but. Um, I was saying earlier, like, we just got to keep keep at it. You know, I think we're always a play away from an explosive play. And, you know, we're, we get those sparks and we get rolling and, you know, uh, things start humming for us. So we just got to keep at it. Keep getting better. I'm sorry. How did it feel to get your first touchdown? Uh, it was awesome. You know, really exciting. Um, glad we got the land.